All right, so here's a question. Okay, suppose you're told that this matrix multiplied by matrix A gives you that matrix. How do you find out matrix A? So you've got this matrix times another one equals that. How do you use matrix A? And remember, there's no division. There's no division. Okay, your only clue is you've got to use inverse matrices to do it. So how does it work? Okay, well, suppose you can find the inverse of this matrix here. Okay. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to rewrite this, okay? I'm going to call that matrix B. Do you mind? So you have B times by A is equal to, you know, let's write it out, 3, negative 2, 5, negative 4, okay? Suppose you can find the inverse matrix of B. Well, what then? Okay? If you can multiply this by the inverse, okay, you can do it. Now, equations work the same way with matrices. What you do to one side, you've got to do to the other. Okay, so if you can multiply this by inverse of b, you've got to multiply that by the inverse of b. Just do pay attention though to how you're doing it. Okay, it would be wrong if I wrote down this. Let me just show you. Let me write it out first of all. It would be wrong to write down this. Okay, I'm going to put the inverse b there, and I'm going to put the inverse b there. The order matters. Okay, if I'm going to multiply it on the left, as we say, by inverse of b. I've got to multiply this on the left as well. Remember, the order matters, okay? Okay, I can't just put them wherever I want, okay? Just as, look, if I put the inverse of B there, that's not much good, okay? Um, yeah, so just bear that in mind. When you're multiplying both sides by matrices, you've got to multiply in the same position, okay? So if you're multiplying to the left of your original expression, you've got to multiply on the left of the expression left and side as well. I'm hoping that kind of made sense, okay? But, you know, why does this work? If, you, if I call that matrix B, why does that work? It's because this bit here, you see, if you do that, B inverse times B, that just gives the identity, okay? And the identity times by matrix A is just matrix A. So what you'd be left with is matrix A is equal to that times that, which you can do, okay? Incidentally, a question that you might have asked is, what if you got, say, three matrices together, what order do you do it in, okay? Well, what you could do is do those two first, A times by B, and then the result times by C. Alternatively, what you can do is, you can do B times by C first, and then do A times that result. What you can't do, is you can't split it up. You can't do A times C first. As long as you keep the order, then you're fine, okay? Uh, I just thought I'd mention that because it's something that, you know, it's not gonna come in my videos, but in case you, we're asking the question, okay? So our method is going to be to work out what the inverse of that matrix there is going to be, okay? So if I call that matrix B, let's write down the inverse of B. So the determinant is going to be 6 subtract 4, which is 2, yeah? So you can start off with 1 over 2. And then what do we do? We swap those two around, so it's going to be 3 and 2, multiply those by negative 1, so negative 1, negative one like that so that's the inverse of b okay so what that means is that matrix a why did i start there let's just go away here. matrix a should be that multiplied by that in that order okay so one and a half three negative one negative one two multiplied by three negative two five negative four can you see that okay because of what I mentioned earlier. Rewind the video if you want to see it, okay? But what I'm going to do is I'm going to do B inverse times that is equal to, you know, B inverse times by that, okay? And then that's the identity, and the identity times A is just A, and you end up with A just equal to that. So you didn't even have to rewind the video, did you? Okay, so let's just do that. So let's just keep the half where it is, okay? And then we'll just do the matrix multiplication. So we've got nine, subtract 5. I'm hoping these could be even numbers. You can see why, because I'm going to divide by 2, and that'll be kind of nice if they were even numbers, okay? Um, so 9 subtract 5 is 4, all right? And then um, negative 6 plus 4 is negative 2, okay? And then this one here is going to be negative 3 plus 10, That's not an even number, is it? Negative 3 plus 10, that's 7. 
Uh, it's going to be 2 subtract 8, negative 6. Okay. That doesn't sound right to me. That doesn't sound right to me at all. Um, so what could I have done wrong? Uh, okay, I'm sure you saw it. I didn't, okay. Because uh, I know what the answer should be, seeing the answer should all be integers, okay. So, uh, yeah. Okay, I swap those around. Why on earth did I write negative one there? I'm sure you've screamed. Oh, negative four, negative four. Yeah, it's negative four, isn't it? Okay. I'm not going to redo the video because it's probably fun for you to sort of see you sort of do that sort of thing. It's more, it's more realistic, I suppose, as well, isn't it? Right, let's do that again, okay? So the three, negative four, negative one to right. Now this should work, okay? Because I know the answer, because I made the question up myself, you see. There's, there's no, um, there's no fractions, but all in to bounds, okay? So, right, let's do it again, okay? So 9 subtract 5 is 4, great. So negative 6 plus 4 is negative 2, great. Negative 12 plus 10 is better, it's negative 2. And 8 subtract 8 is 0. So when our times all the elements by half, I get 2, negative 1, negative 1, 0. I'm going to check with my answer. So there we go. So what do I get? Negative 2, negative 1, 1, 0. Yeah. Okay, yeah, good. What I did, in case you're wondering how I made up that question, this is what I did, you see. Okay, I just thought, right, I'll do that times that, see what I get, and then I'll make up a question. Okay, and you can see what I did was, I'll just put that there, that there, and my question was to work out what that was. So it's easy to generate these things, okay, but it's more time consuming um, to find an answer. But it's an indication why inverse matrices are useful, okay, because we haven't got the division method. Okay, but we've got the inverse matrix method to try and help us. Okay, I'm hoping that was hmm, maybe entertaining for you. I don't know.